No, that's not the. What are you talking about? Fuck that guy. I mean, not literally. He'll never, he'll never get fucked. Virgin for life, that one. Just saying. Anyway. <clears throat> no, I'm good. My stream's on, by the way. So don't be starting trouble. I know, I know how you like to do that. Gotta watch out for that. I forgot to add something to my description. It's a donate button. It's like the only thing I put in that description. This is already very accurate. I haven't even started the simulation yet. Uh, How satisfied are you with YouTube as a place for video creators? I mean, it's fine. Uh, better than pretty much anywhere else, to be honest. Hold on, hold on, I gotta add this before I forget. Okay, there we go. Now there's a tip button. And I'll put it there, just in case. That's the button you have to use if you want it to pop up on the screen. Otherwise, it'll just show up in the chat. If you do it at all. If you don't do it, it's whatever. I was just making sure we had things clear. Now back, I need I'm all, I need to enable things I can actually use. Um, so basically, British Rail is completely out, obviously. Uh, we have some EMD sounds. We need those on. Um, E8, we can put that on. F40PH, that's Antrack. We can't use that. Uh, oh, there we go. F7 expansion. Starter kit. EMD. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, yes, the GP30s are on, as are the GP38-2s. No, Chicago, no, no, you, uh, S9, AMD, uh, no, not 90, no 90 max, that's way later. Uh, SW1500 can be on. Flying, no, no flying hamburger. <laughs> Naturally, every single frickin' LNER needs to be off. More line colors, we can turn that on. Uh, ah, I almost turned that on, New York Central Super Hudson. But we can't use the Hudsons, because this is Penn Central. And by that point, every almost every single New York, New York Central steam loco is gone. Like there won't be any steam locos operating on these lines. Uh, no cost. We'll turn that on because it'll be impossible for me to simulate this properly if I have limited money, because their whole thing is going into the negatives quickly and horribly. Penn Central E8 on. Penn Central GP7 on. On. Uh, prototype. That's vague. Uh, ship expansion, we don't need any of that. Speed rail car, no, 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 no. No steam. Track design patterns, we'll turn that on. I might need it. Track side buildings, we'll turn that on. No UFOs. Underwater tunnels, no. Union Pacific vehicles, no. End year, no. We'll turn that. We'll keep that off because, uh, and I think, I think that's good. I think that's... That's about all we really need. <clears throat> so we have the Northeast USA, which is the center of Penn Central's uh, situation. So let's do it. We going bankrupt or what? <laughs> That's the plan, actually.
They were going to make a Hudson. Like a steam engine? I doubt it. Not under not under Perlman they wouldn't do. What was my favorite surviving GWR 6000 slash King class? Uh, I need to look at a list as to which ones are surviving. I'm actually not sure. Not at the top of my head. Um, to be frank. I don't really know. I didn't spell it wrong, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I was paranoid for a second there. Thought I spelled it pen, not pen. With one N. I thought I spelled it with one N by accident. Oh, they're all named King. They were going to make a Hudson. That must be after they ousted Perlman, because Perlman never would have never gone with that. I can't believe they even had the nerve to have that kind of plan in mind because they didn't have, they didn't have the money. Like they never had the money. They didn't have the money to operate normally, let alone a steam, let alone a, a you know a a leisure you know you know PR steam excursion. Like that wasn't gonna. It was not a situation that would have helped. Wait on this load bar. That's what we're doing. Hello, everyone. There's a lot of people saying hi to me. Chaos Gamer, C Trains One Two Three, P E R R Modeler, Gabriel Mongolian, or Angel, I guess. Do I know why Burlington Northern grew so fast? Are you going to enlighten the chat, or are you just going to ask me? Because I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> do I plan to visit other tourist railroads? I'm sure eventually. I don't get out much, to be honest. Most of what I do is safe inside my silent, quiet domain, where I remain for all eternity. Music started. There we go. All right, now we got. Let's see what we're looking at. Uh, yeah, this map is huge, so we have to be careful with how we handle this. So expect, except frame rate dips. Uh, Columbus. We're in Ohio. Pittsburgh. There we go. Uh, Harrisburg. All right, now we got things the right the right way up. So we got Pittsburgh, Harrisburg. This isn't quite accurate, but it's close enough. This is the closest I was able to find. There aren't that many. Most maps are interestingly about like the Midwest United States. They weren't really helpful here. Uh, we can start, um, <coughs> in the main hub between, you know, this is Pennsylvania, this is New York up here, New York City, Scranton, Hartford, Syracuse, um, yeah, this is, the, the cities appear to be a little off by my eye, because Cleveland's right here, and like, yeah, it's, it's not quite accurate, but it's, it's close enough, we can, we can make this work, it doesn't have to be a specific, like, like, point for point like the um the um oh son of a <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake and I am going to have to restart this whole thing I feel very stupid I picked I didn't set the start year I was starting in 1850 <laughs> which means none of the diesels that Penn Central actually used existed at that time. I don't think diesels in general existed in 1850. Let's try this again. I apologize for that. That was my mistake. You know what these United States basic settings. Yeah, that's fine. 
Can I set the start year on this thing? Thought I could. Start year. Yeah, there should be a way to... There should be a way to, to do this differently than I'm doing it now. Hold on, let me go back. Um, no. Free game... I know I did it before with frickin' British Rail, so I don't see why I wouldn't be able to do it with this. this again. Uh, yeah, we turned on the Alco PA because they might have had some of those. No British Rail. Bud stuff can be turned on. I apologize for the delay, guys. Cannot believe I screwed that up. Uh, first of all, let's let's save that. And central save. Why can't I change this to something like helpful?
I know I did it before. Why can't I do it now? Play a map. Oh, there it is. Okay. Christ. <coughs> but I still have the wrong date is the problem. Um... How do I... First of all, load that. Okay. Nineteen sixty eight, yes. That's what I need to be. I'm trying to figure out You have to give me a second to for <laughs> remember how the hell to do this. Um because I've hit start, it's just gonna start, but it's right now it's set at eighteen fifty. I need to change that. How did I do it with British Rail? Cause I know I did. I think oh, I think I know what I did. That means I have to okay, hold on. Let me let me do this one more time. I know what I did. Uh, settings, select options, load, and central, load. Why are you yelling at me? Why does it say that these will cause the game to crash? That doesn't make any sense. You were literally fine before. Shut the hell up. Okay, um... Okay, load the map. I have to change the date and then reset, resave it, and then load the map as the correct date. I wish I didn't have to do that. Um, is really where I'm at with it. Why would I use British Rail when this is a Penn Central simulation? They didn't use anything related to British Rail. Not a single, single thing. In fact, if they had, they might have actually been more successful. Because some person called Penn Central like the American version of British Rail in terms of, like, ineptitude. But I tell you what, I, I'm going to disagree heavily with that. I think that's an insult to British Rail because Penn Central screwed up so, so hard. And, like, British Rail had, to, had a lot of friggin' issues. A lot of issues. But they weren't Penn Central. <laughs> Penn Central was a disaster. It took two of the largest, most successful historical rail networks in America, combined them, and then destroyed them in about two or three years. Like. Yo. <laughs> like, frickin'. You know, British Rail screwed up a lot, but they didn't do that. Can I talk about the CB and Q4000? I mean, I have to look that up to see what it is. I'm not even sure what that is off the top of my head. I'm not going to lie. If I can work it in somewhere, I'm sure I will, but it hasn't... Uh come up yet. Yeah, pretty sure it lasted several decades. And they're coming back. Penn Central took three years to declare bankruptcy. Like, they literally imploded in such a relatively short amount of time. Especially considering what they were working with. Like, their network was huge at the time. Alright, uh, let me figure out how to change this. Oh, here we go. Just change the date. So we want this to be the first of, what was it, 1968, yes? 1968, I believe. 
1868. Not that it matters too much in the grand scheme of things, because it'll probably take me longer than that to set up the lines and everything. Well, I could pause it. Um, so yeah, we changed the date, which didn't actually change. 1868. Ta-da! That's it. That's all we had to do. Now we can save this. Save map as Penn Central. I'm just going to save it normally just because I want to make sure all the, all the mods are set up correctly. I think Penn Central existed for such a short amount of time, like, it's hard for me to even work them into a list because it's like, it's like, I mean, because, and, and the, the hell of it is, like, the reason why Penn Central in itself is, is so annoying is that, like, British Rail had a lot of bad diesels to work through, and they still managed to work themselves out of it. Because, you know, they were idiots, but, like, they still worked themselves out of it. Penn Central, Penn Central's rolling stock was good legitimately good. They had a ton of EMD units. They had GG1s. Like, they had good locomotives. A lot of them. And they still hemorrhaged money out the wazoo due to... It, it had nothing to do with the trains themselves. It had to do with horrific management. Um, and just consistent decisions based off of sheer arrogance and idiocy. It was just... It was horrible, uh, in almost every conceivable way. Alright, so, looks like we got everything set up. Start year... Why is the start year still 1850, though? I thought we just date... Oh! Oh! Okay, start year is 1850, but the date now is 18... Okay, it, I don't know what the fu... You know what? Never mind. It's, it's fine. It's okay. Because the date is... is correct. So, we're okay. Um... So yeah, it looks like we got all the mods start. Well, the track condition... Part of the reason the track conditions failed so badly is what happened was... I'm going to make a video about this this week, actually. Um, it'll be it'll be live to, to everybody next week. But for, you know, my uh, channel members, it'll be live this week. Because um, I've been researching. That's why I'm doing this. Because I did, did extensive research on Penn Central over the weekend just to make sure I had everything straight. One of the major issues they had was when they merged normally railroads when they merge it's kind of an end-to-end -end situation where they just kind of expand the you know expand their territory overall but when when the Penzi and and uh, New York Central merged they encompassed much of the same territory uh, many of their lines ran next to each other so they had a ludicrous amount of redundancies um, lines they just didn't need locomotives they didn't need and staff they didn't need and one of them one of the suits in, in charge who was originally the head of the Penzi he became kind of second in command of Penn, of Penn Central basically gave the unions every freaking thing they wanted um, which included uh, keeping all their staff on the payroll which was not a good idea because they had a ton of redundant staff on top of um, rehiring like 10,000 more employees that they had laid off throughout the past years because Another problem it had was the integration. Both the Penzi and New York Central had early computer systems um, that were kind of old school, but they, you know, they did what they did. Um, but these systems were completely different. So when they merged, they couldn't talk to each other. And normally a merger takes a few years, like it's a slower process where they slowly integrate to make sure everything can communicate and everything. They did it all on the same day because the ICC took too long to approve it. So when they merged, it was just from day one, okay, everyone works together now, this is one railway. Well, the frickin', uh, you know, the, uh, the schedulers, you know, the, the, the people responsible for 
you know, saying this car goes here, this car goes here, etc. Uh, didn't have any time to learn the 5,000 new codes. You know, to actually manage any of this. Uh, so it turned, it was a complete mess. Like, uh, cars were going to the wrong yards on the regular. Thousands of them. Um, there was also an incident... And this is this is freaking hilarious. I I I, I I'm absolutely going to include this this story in the video because it's it's freaking great. So apparently there was an incident where um, they had to they had to ship a car to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now mind you, that is the capital, of Pennsylvania. Okay. The the former New York Central, now Penn Central people up in New York didn't freaking know where Harrisburg was, so they sent it to Pittsburgh instead, which. I know they look close on the map, but that's about a four-hour drive, roughly, give or take. Um, they're not actually that close. Pennsylvania is a long state, uh, and that was just one of, of many issues that that kept occurring. Uh, speaking of, though, we are going to combine Harrisburg and New York City, as I believe that is the good a good first start to this, um, and we'll go from there. I am going to make sure I have a ton of redundant lines because that's what they would have had because they are made of failures. Um, so we are going to start with, yeah, I just have a ton of, just, just eight, eight lines for, for no reason um, at all. I think that's great. That's perfect. I don't see the problem with that in any way. Do you see a problem? Because I don't. Um... Um, they actually managed, this is another thing I'm going to talk about in the video, but since you guys are here, might as well keep talking, why not? Um, they managed to, so what happened was there was another rail line up in Maine, I forget, the, I, the name fails me. But they were up in Maine, they were, they were completely, they were, they were, they were a separate company, but they, but they were, they were a small railway. So in order to ship their stuff across the country, they had to negotiate with Penn Central and transfer their cars to them, and you know the, the usual kind of the no, it's normal procedure. They and they've been doing it for years. In particular, they had been sending a lot of um, potatoes, because uh, Maine had a solid potato farming industry. Um, and they shipped their, the, the, the farmers shipped the potatoes by rail, and that's how, that's just how it went. Um, and that's, that's, that's great. Um, problem. So, what happened was, when they shipped, they, 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 they you know, they, 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 they got the potato shipment, and they sent it over to Penn Central, said, okay, you know, like, you know, send it to where it has to, wherever it's going. Penn Central completely screwed it up and sent it to the wrong place and didn't realize they had done this for a very long time. The result of this was that the entire shipment, the whole thing, rotted. The whole thing. The whole, a whole season's worth of potatoes were wasted because Penn Central let them sit. And this the, the the result of this was was a multitude of uh, of stuff. Um, partially, obviously, Penn Central looked horrible um, because duh. But but it almost destroyed this other rail network because the farmers, the ones that managed to stay in business, because they had lost a sh you know an absolute fun absurd amount of money over this because their shipments were gone. They didn't get they they didn't get paid for their shipments because they didn't, you know, you know, the, the, their customers didn't receive them. Duh! Um, so, uh, they, you know, the, the ones that, that, that didn't have to close up shop and stop farming wound up say, you know, wound up deciding that they were never going to ship their potatoes by rail ever again. Um, and that was a huge, huge, major hit to this other rail network that for years had you know, had shipped these potatoes. And it was, it had nothing to do with them. It wasn't their fault. It was Penn frickin' Central being a cavalcade of screw-ups. Uh, it was a disaster. And that's just, those are just a couple of many, 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 and a, a stupid amount of stories that feature this ridiculous railway. 
that it, that that chose to consistently mess everything they had got you know you know because they really had no logistically if they had been, if they had handled themselves properly they shouldn't have failed at all um, they had to cut a lot of employees out I know that sounds harsh but that's just a fact of business they were paying too much for, you know their operating costs were through the roof they had to limit their rolling stock and they had to use the extra money to maintain their rail lines uh, Pearlman and the other gentlemen wanted to introduce a new electronic system that would have been much like the systems that modern railways these days actually use um, <clears throat> uh, they never got a chance to do it because they never had the money for it because everything they ever you know because the the rail line just kept screwing up and they just kept hemorrhaging money uh, Perlman actually wound up being ousted from his position because the Penzi loyalists uh, were very old school and Perlman was very new school he was very much an innovator and wanted things to be progressive the Penzi guys were very conservative in their approach and they didn't like Perlman didn't listen to him um, and the hell of it is, had they done this, Perlman probably could have handled that railway, and Penn Central might still be around now. Um, obviously, that's not what happened at all. Um, it went terribly, and everything, you know, completely screwed up, and here we are now making fun of them. But it was, at the time, when they declared bankruptcy, it was the largest bankruptcy in United States history at that point. Um... It no longer is Enron, uh, the the energy company. Maybe you're familiar with their story. Um, had a had a had a larger bankruptcy. They 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 set a new record. Um, but up until that point, Penn Central's was the largest that the that the United States had ever seen. Um, and it was a it was a it was a complete disaster because. The problem was they had so much territory that that they couldn't, and they and they they were in a position where they couldn't just reorganize them to and make it work. It wasn't going to happen that way. But they couldn't just shut them and say, you know, just say, okay, well, you're shutting down, because then they had then then the, then the U.S. would have no rail lines anymore, and the government's like, oh, great. Well, now what do we do? And that's kind of where that's where Conrail came in. Conrail inherited the vast majority of lines from Penn Central. Uh, Amtrak took over some as well. Amtrak already existed when the bankruptcy was going on. Um, and as a result, Conrail managed to make, uh, through, through a couple of government changes, um, mainly the Swaggers Act, which limited government input on how rail lines could charge um, their customers. They couldn't charge below a certain rate. They couldn't lower their costs. For the customers, and that made that made it hard for them to compete with with trucks and uh, planes. Um, but when the Swaggers Act happened, Conrail became insanely profitable. Uh, did very well by the 80s. Um, in fact, they probably they, they they really didn't go under. What happened to Conrail is that they basically just decided not to exist anymore, and they divided it up between Norfolk Southern and CSX, which is where Penn Central's original lines are. They're under their jurisdiction. <clears throat> anyway, so this is a passenger line, so what do we got to work with? We don't have a tremendous amount of stuff to work with. Um, uh, we have GG1s. Uh, I don't have... I, I thought I had the color variant, but apparently I don't. But, you know, pretend it's black. That's fine. Um, we could use the Bud RDC. I don't know if Penn Central ever used those. I know they used the Metro Liner, though. Um, oh, here we go. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll use the E8. The E8 sounds good for this situation. The Please Clean Me unit. <laughs> no, no, we're going to use that. That sounds like Penn Central. A lot of the, like, like, Penn Central had pretty interesting, uh, you know, I liked, I liked the black and white. I did. Um, but they, a lot of their units got really dirty after a while, and I think that, uh, that fits the bolt, the mold pretty, pretty accurately. Uh, I don't see a problem with that myself. Um, so we'll, uh, do that, and then we'll add some... Where are, uh, do we have any... Custom 
Mexico. That'll, that'll have to do. That'll work. Uh, so we want to do we want we want a ton of redundant trains. So we're gonna add th four of these. Um, one of you will be one line. One will be the other. One will be the other, etc., etc. Um, new line. Oh, it's auto saving. Okay, give it a second. <laughs> Union Pacific was in the west, so the reason why the Penzi and New York Central in particular were having serious trouble was where they had, where their territory was. So, out west, there were, lots, there were a lot of longer distances. Trucking was not very efficient out there, especially back then. So, Union Pacific was able to survive off of big, long-haul stuff. Um... But, the Pansy in New York Central had a lot of short lines. Uh, there was a lot, you know, there was, there was, a, lot, there was a high level of, uh, what do they call it, uh, population, uh, like, uh, density. Population density, that's, that's the word I'm thinking of. Good work, Josh. Um, there was a high level of population density. So, they did not actually have, it was, it was, it was. It became a lot more efficient to ship by truck over in the east, and that was what was really, really killing the Penzi and New York Central. Now, actually, before they merged, though, they weren't necessarily in horrible shape. Um, they weren't as good as they had been, but they were. They were in the black. Like they were making a profit. Not very. Not, not very much of one, but they were making one. Um, when they merged, that's when things got completely, like, that's when their costs skyrocketed, that's when everything took, went completely downhill, and they collapsed. Um, had that merger not occurred, it's possible they could have dug themselves out of it eventually. Um, at least in New York Central's case, I think they would have been able to innovate and survive. Penzi's hard to say just because of their management structure. Again, was very old school, very conservative. Um, they were not, um, they were not willing to change as readily as New York Central was, um, which is why they didn't get along very well when they started uh, actually, you know, running running a you know a massive company together. And mind you, this merger was huge. Like the the territory they encompassed was massive. Uh, they would have been, I believe, at the time, they would have been the largest railway network in the country. Maybe Union Pacific was bigger, but I don't think they they had absorbed. They had, to, they had to absorb Missouri Pacific. Uh, it would have been close. I, the, either way, the, the, it was it was it was a massive, massive uh, network. There we go. We got some E units moving out. Onward to not make any money. You're forbidden from doing that. No money is allowed to be made on this line. That's the rule. I know, there's no dirty skin for that one. I was disappointed too. Big Bertha? I mean, she was good at pushing and nothing else. About all I got with that. Love you too. When the freight train roll out? Oh! Well, give it a second. Let me make sure everything's running smoothly with these.
So we do need some freight lines at some point. Um, any potato farms I can ruin up here? There's a grain farm. No, there's, there's no grain farm. There's just a... Hmm. The industries are all over the place. Uh, St. Louis needs bread. Do I want to actually... The other thing is, do I actually want to deliver stuff properly? Because New York Central never did. Yeah, this map, uh, it, 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 they had to, they had to factor in, you know, you had to be a little reasonable with the, with the map here. I, I totally understand why it's a lot smaller than you think it would be. Um, so, God, I guess we'll start with grain. Um, that does seem to make the most sense. Uh, but we, we want a stupidly long line, like, complete. Like, there's no reason why I would take the grain all the way from here over here, and then, like, it, the bread would be stale by the time I get it anywhere log logistical. I mean, I could deliver it up here, but that's not New York Central's way. Everything must be chaos. So, I think what I'll do is I will take the grain from here, take it all the way up here, and instead of delivering it straight to Concord or Hartford, I'm going to skip past them. Or, or there. We, there's really a, I'm going to take it all the way back down here to Chicago, even though there's a grain place right here. Oh, I, oh even better, I'll take it to St. Louis. Now, Chicago, I, I, Missouri, I'm not sure if Central went all the way down to St. Louis. I might have to ignore St. Louis completely. But I think they hit Chicago. So we'll definitely... Or Cleveland. They definitely hit Cleveland or Pittsburgh. Nah, we'll do Pittsburgh. We'll do Pittsburgh. That's, that, that's more reasonable. We'll, we'll start with Pittsburgh. Uh, so... We need a cargo terminus. Uh, I don't need that many friggin' lines. I mean, well, I, I do need extra lines that I'm not going to be using, so I'm paying extra money for stuff I don't need. Uh, but not that many extra lines. It'll be, a little re it'll be a little realistic. Not every single station would have had, like, eight friggin' lines. Most of the lines had, like, four. When they really only needed one or two is really what their issue was. Um, just because, like, their, their capacity, they, they, they were always under capacity. Always under capacity. No matter what they did. Um. And you could sometimes deal with, you know, having extra, you know, extra capacity. But theirs was, like, hideous. Just absolutely disgusting. Um, so we'll take it all the way up here for no reason other than to be obnoxious. They did go to Chicago? Thank you for telling me that. I wasn't quite 100% on that. I am just throwing down these lines really nilly because I want them to be as stupid as humanly possible. I feel that's very important to this very accurate simulation. So we are going to send a do a do, do a GP7. Uh, 
we can do a do GP30 as well, couldn't we? Let's do a GP30. We'll do two of them actually. And we need to ship grain, so we need just just all of these. Just just so many. Just just way more than is reasonable. Just just act in fact way too many. I don't know. We don't we don't need there's no way they could possibly produce this much, but that's there we go. We're gonna spend a billion a uh, hundred million dollars on just so many of these for no reason because I have deemed it necessary as this is Penn Central and we are perfection. Anyway, Toronto to Augusta. Toronto, that's Canada. Oh well, whatever. What? That's good. Okay, now we are going to we have to take the uh we'll we'll use we'll use a GP seven. Um first and we will take bread. And it'll just, it'll just be so much, so many boxcars that are just empty. Uh, we, you know, we, we always have excess capacity around here. That's the rule. That's how things work. There we go. Another, another hundred million just, just thrown, just straight down the sewer. Uh, I think that's an excellent way to do business. And I don't know why anyone would think otherwise. Ta-da. How do I have a woman in my room and on here said? It's my girlfriend. She lives with me. We don't spend all our... So we don't... <laughs> She's here every night. I don't know... Like, it... <laughs> Once you start living with a girl, like... Changes the whole... There's a woman in my room and I'm on here instead kind of deal. Like, if she were just visiting for a night, that'd be one thing. One of my, one of my, one of my, one of my uh, followers is like, "Is there a woman in in your room and you're on here instead?" And I was explaining to him that, well, she lives here, so it's not like she's just vis visiting. The, the exactly, because you are visiting. Yeah. <laughs> when will the? Oh God, I'm not answering that question. I already have a. I'm already have a son. <laughs> One of my followers was like, well, when when do you having babies? Well, you see. <laughs> you see, it's too early. It's too early. We've been together six months. Ding 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 You can't tell me what to do, Panzer Cap Wagon. This is transport fever too. It is gonna take seventy-five thousand years for them to get all these cars out of the shed. There's like an interdimensional portal in these garages. Like this is not reasonable. This there's nothing about this makes any sense. Well, I would do that, but uh, there's apparently a bug going on where the where it's not it's not willing to speed up things. If you can see that, I'm hitting it down here. Oh, you can't. It's behind my uh, it's behind my stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's um, the speed up's just not working. Uh, pausing works, 
Anytime I hit speed up, it just goes at normal speed. It won't go any faster than that. Probably because of the lar how large this map is. Because technically, even though it's not really accurate completely, it's still an absolutely enormous map. So I think that's causing the game to slow down. And it's like, absolutely not. Do not do that. And I'm like, okay. Um, so we'll, we'll check back on them after they're... You know, I, it, it dawned on me. I put this so close to the station. I hope, I hope all these boxcars can fit. Uh, it'll, it'll let me know what they don't. Um, Oh, now the speed is working a little bit. Beautiful. Uh, I like the book. I do not like that movie, though. Oh, I was afraid of that. Yep, I managed to make it stuck. Classic Penn Central mismanagement. You're welcome, by the way. Let's fix this, though. I guess we gotta fix it. And that's still too long. Oh, no, it's not. No, we're good. Still technically too long, but not, not so long that it's a problem, you know. One of those deals. Which train would I absolutely destroy if I had the chance? I, I probably wouldn't destroy any real train. I, I can't picture myself doing it. Cause like even even bad ones. You know, even the ones that I'm like, these are this is absolutely awful. I feel like are also like, you know, somewhat historically relevant to a certain degree, you know. So the notion of like destroying something that I think could at least be used as an example of what not to do, um, is better than absolutely, you know, wrecking it for you know, because reasons. Like, I don't consider that a viable decision-making process at all, personally. Uh, that's just me, though. Maybe you disagree, that's fine. But I personally would rather not just break everything for no reason. Um, now I got traffic all backed up. Classic New York Central affecting other industries. Okay, now we got the freight lines moving. <coughs> um, completely inefficiently, of course. Um... The most worthless? Like, I mean, really... Uh, I'm trying to think. I've talked about so many bad locomotives, it's hard to narrow them down. Really, any of them that just didn't work, I would think, would be the most worthless. Um... Alright, so, intentionally mismanaging this. So let's think about... Think about unnecessary passenger routes again, now that we have a ton of unnecessary passenger routes already working. Um... So, the old station in Philly. I'm 
favorite regional commuter railroad in northern... I don't really... That's hard for me to say, because in my area, I just don't have those. Uh, that's not a thing around here. The only thing we have is Amtrak, which I like Amtrak, but um, you're asking for regional service, and that's not a thing we get in my area. Um, so it's like I kind of really can't answer that question. At least not in a way that I would consider... You know, I, I can't give you a good answer. I think the closest one to where I live... No, not even that's not very close. Um... Uh, oh, I connected it to the wrong line. Classic New York Central. But I won't make that headache for myself because it's going to make it more difficult for me to manage to, 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 to just put trains out there. Oh, well, there's another thing I have to do since I'm New York Central. Um,. There is one thing major I have to take care of real quick. There was something... So, towards, especially towards the end of their existence as a thing, uh, new, one, of, one of the ways New York Central tried to get out of their problems was they started taking out loans. Like, a lot of loans uh, to manage their costs. Um, naturally, you know, you have to pay back loans. So, in the long run, this was not a good idea because they weren't making enough money to pay back said loans. Um, and they were accruing interest, which made the whole thing, you know, it just compounded all the other issues. So, naturally, in accordance with this, I am not going to repay anything, and I'm going to borrow all the money I am personally allowed to. Um, I believe that is much more imperative for me to do borrow, borrow, borrow. I'm just going to keep borrowing money. This will fix the problem. It's okay. Um, still borrowing money. This will fix all the issues. We don't have any problems if we, you know, just borrow all the money. If we borrow all the money in the world, what are they going to say? What are they going to say? I'm not going to say anything. Oh, they won't let me borrow anymore. Okay. Now that I've borrowed $100 million, I think we're good. I can't see a way that could possibly backfire. Okay. Now... <coughs> Um, we'll put a GG1 down here. It's the wrong color. I thought I download. I thought I, I thought I downloaded a mod for Pen Central colors for GG1, but there, it doesn't seem to be showing up. Maybe I forgot to enable it. Doesn't really matter much. Um, but they would have had GG1, so we'll put one of them out here. And Then, we will also add, someone said they did have the Bud RDC, so we will add, sure, that's, that's, that's great, that's fine, they would have had way too many of them anyway, um, we'll add one of them. Uh, where did, where did, where did, map, where are you taking me, there you go, I need to fix this, because I think this is the, they're sharing a line. And they shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> um, Delphia, we need track four. And then we need you on track... Hold on. Something's wrong again. What? What's the problem? What's your D... Oh, I see the problem. Um, I mean, that's fine. Don't know why you're throwing a fit about that, actually. I know why this is dumb. I'm gonna fix that here in a second. Track six. Tada! Okay, fix that problem. I don't know why the other one's throwing a hissy fit though. It doesn't make any sense. Let me look at it again. Uh, it's connected. I think. Uh, line 8, what are you doing? Manage line, are you... Maybe that's the wrong one. Maybe that's 2 or something else. Or something dumb, I don't know. Uh, 
Philadelphia should be track four. There we go. I got it. Okay. Fixed it. <clears throat> Alright, now I got a GG1 move and they would have used those. Steam turbines? Uh, it does, actually, but Penn Central never used one as far as I know. Um, so that's not relevant for this particular simulation, but the, I believe I do have a mod for the Union Pac one of the Union Pacific steam turbines. Um, that's, ju that's just my girlfriend talking in the background. They can hear you, by the way! How much money? Oh, good. Negative three million dollars. Perfection. Zero passengers. That's exactly what I would have expected. I'm, I'm just saying. I just wanted you to know. You don't care. You don't care. Uh, So let's make another pass an unnecessary passenger line because why not? We'll take it up to from New York to uh, down to Philadelphia. This line running through here. Um, hmm. Oh, oh, we have some Penn Central F sevens. We could use them. To an Alco PA for maximum unreliability. Well, you know, the, the other thing with Penn Central is that, like, a lot of their, a lot of what they used, um, I do have a Discord, actually, Panzer Kempwagen. You can see it on my regular videos. It's a, there's a link in the description for, on all of them. Um, is that a lot of Penn Central's rolling stock was actually absolutely fine. They had good locomotives. They did. Um, it was their management that was the problem. It had nothing to do with their actual rolling stock. So, including an Alco PA for run reliability is more of a... That would be more of a... Well, you know, including anything run reliability... Brit that was British Rail's problem, was buying unreliable crap. Um, watch out, Bear. Um, Penn Central's issue was more... Ma was, was, was management-based. Not that British Rail didn't have management issues, but not nearly as bad as Penn Central. Penn Central dug themselves into the dirt. And then just kept digging for 75,000 years.
Would I support the trash effect party? I don't even know what that is offhand. Also, I don't support political parties. I don't do parties. I think parties are stupid. And I always will think that. So, probably not. Look at all those boxcars. Just rolling on through. Listen. Here it comes. <gasps> there they are. Magical. Now, are these freight lines making any money? I hope not. The rule is that I can't make any money. British World Dating Sim when? <laughs> Class 17, Chen, why have you broken down? <laughs> Seeing you with Class 15, Sama, it's broken my heart. You know, you know what my problem is right now? I'm actually making money somehow, and I don't know how that's happening. And that makes me very mad. I'm not allowed to make money here. That's strictly forbidden. Why? How? Who? Or, who? Which one of you? None of you are making money. Why am I in the positives? Is that because of all the money I borrowed? It just looks good for the investors? Never mind. That's perfect for, for me. Uh... Uh, the reason the British Rail became a meme was just because I wound up with so many bad locomotives. It just, they appeared on all, on, on the list so often. Um, and it just became a running gag where people would just expect to see them repeatedly, forever. And I can't escape now. Excellent. I have too many cars for the route. Perfect! That's exactly what I need. Same here. My girlfriend does not like trains like I like trains. Uh, my girlfriend likes drama. And tea and TikTok and whatever. I suppose we should create the Northeast Corridor, shouldn't we? So we can start in DC, then go to Baltimore. I like how this is perfect on this map, they're right next to each other, so putting a train here in the context of the map is actually so rock stupid, it's not even funny. So I'm gonna do it. Um, tram only playthrough, it actually wouldn't be that hard, because trams are usually, as long as you don't make too many of them on the same line, they're actually remarkably profitable in the context of the game. 
So I would not have an issue doing that purely on the basis that trams are actually pretty good in this game. In fact, what's holding them back is I'm not building any of those because Penn Central never did, as far as I recall. Um, they probably would have because one of the differences in management was that New York Central, their management that came from there, felt that they were a transportation company. The Pansy's management viewed themselves as a railroad company, and only a railroad company, and that really screwed things up when it came to managing the lines because they were like, well, we're this, no, we're this, and like they couldn't even figure out what the company was about. Um, Frickin' disaster in that regard. go. Right, now I'm going to make this a really stupid line. This is important that I do this. Uh, what do we want to use, though? What do we want to use for this really stupid line? Central Red. Sure. Those aren't passenger diesels, though. Yeah. Ooh, we can do a gray. No, that's New York Central. Penn Central's. This is Penn Central down here. So one of you is going here, 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 then back here, and then back here. The other one, not that, is going here, 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 here. Here, 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 and then here. And why are you being stupid? That's the real question. Oh, because this line is set up wrong. Hold on. So, I need you to be not... That's fine. Um, what is it? No, no, don't go on that line. That's wrong. 
That's wrong. You're you're wrong. Stop it. Just actually, just stop in general. I need to fix this whole thing. Uh, of course, this is going to turn out to be a complete mess. But to be fair, it was supposed to be. Uh, okay, so that's there. Then in Philly, we want to pull into... Philly should be... Philly should be there. Back on eight. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Okay, so you need to be completely screwed up. Uh, oh, hold on. Washington, D.C. D.C. needs to be on track seven. Seven. And seven again. Okay, I think we'll take care of D.C. Then in Baltimore, you will always be on track seven. 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 <clears throat> That's fine. Philly, you need to be on track two. That's at least part of that problem. Oh, I see that appears twice. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Boom! I have worked it out! <laughs> Can a train simulator be an NFT game? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't call it that. I mean, if you want it to be an NFT game, you can always send me a donation in the donation link in the description. Send me money now. No, don't do that. <laughs> Not unless you want to. <laughs> this is messing. I don't have NFTs. I don't want to have NFTs. I want nothing to do with anything related to NFTs. I am nothing to do with that department. Pen Central with the red logo. That looks very nice, actually. What? What's happening here? Oh no! No, you fools! It's a disaster! Just, just, uh, so much, uh, that's not, that's not supposed to happen. That's not how the game, that's, that's not okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think, I don't think the game likes what I did with this route, is, I think is the problem here, but, uh, um, <laughs> I think we'll have to, that's, that's gonna cost a lot of money to fix in, in the real world, and in the, in the game world, uh, they just, they just inhabited the, the, they would, they would. You know, you're right. Penn Central would do NFTs without question. They would have jumped on that bandwagon immediately to try to save their, their, them. Uh, uh, without, uh, there is no, that, 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 I have no doubt about at all. Absolutely would have, em would have jumped on that so fast. Um,. Let's see here. You can't make any money. What's this? 
How dare you make a profit? That's not allowed. On New York, on, on Penn Central. And, um... <clears throat> excuse me. These are not... I don't think these were E9s. Uh, hold on, let me double check. I'll figure it out for you real quick. These are... I think these are F... No. These are E8s. These are E8s. Not E9s. E8s. That's not a car. So that is a cabless diesel unit for it's. They, they call it a booster. It's basically just another diesel engine, uh, to 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 boost, um, the units. Many of these, many E and F units were sold in these sets, and they would come with boosters, um, to give them an extra oomph. Um, boosters kind of really aren't things anymore because the logic became, well, why in the hell are we building boosters when we could just have every single diesel have a cab so they could each be, you know, they, don't, they didn't need to be dragged anywhere. They, you know, they could be, it, it, there's just more utility in having them all have cabs. It didn't make sense. The boosters were technically cheaper to manufacture, but it just didn't make logistical sense after a while. So that's kind of why you don't see boosters anymore. But the, but the ENF units, uh, in particular, and a lot of diesels like them in America had booster units. Um, There are some caps. There are there are things like boosters around, uh, but they're definitely not as common as they used to be. See, this is a booster on it too, um, just because modern diesels don't need them. And they're you know if you're gonna buy a booster, why wouldn't you just buy another cab? It doesn't make any sense. Cab units can be remotely controlled now, and they're all interconnected. Boosters just don't make any logistical sense for the most part um, <coughs> these days. So it's it's 1970. So it's actually about the time when Penn Central would no longer be a thing. I believe we declare bankruptcy this year. That's how that's how short. Like I literally can't even play the game effectively because of how short in time. Like you know, for being such a massive railroad and for being recognizable with a logo in returns of railroad history, especially in America, Penn Central only existed for like three years. Would Booster just be more aerodynamic? I mean, in the middle, I guess. You know, but I don't think that's really relevant. I mean, I guess, I suppose what you're saying is, you know, if there were a cab here, wouldn't that mean the air? I mean, I guess, in theory, the aerodynamics involved might be a little better on a booster. But I believe the, I believe the gain here is, in that regard specifically, is so overwhelmingly negligible that it's like, why? You know, it doesn't, it still wouldn't make any sense. Like, you wouldn't, you know, there might be a difference, but it's, it, it, it's, it's such an irrelevant difference. Um, these are F8s, actually. <laughs> Just answer that question. They are F8s. That's true. We declared they declared bankruptcy, but, but the bankruptcy proceedings did take a while. So you're right. I do have like five more years, in the technical sense. Um, yes, I do. Actually, it's a mod in this game as well. I don't have it enabled because Penn Central. But yes, I'm aware that that was a thing. That was a thing. 
Um, so I guess we can keep screwing around a little bit. Because uh, that's pretty much what Penn Central did. Um, what else can we do here? Pittsburgh doesn't have a passenger route. That's a little silly, ain't it? Uh, the problem is I... It's <laughs> Hold on, I, I thought of a solution. It's a really dumb one, though. Alright, we're just going to take this track and just all the way around. Let's just take it to the city. It, it don't matter. It, it don't really matter. It... Okay, maybe it does. Maybe the game, maybe the game has, a, uh, has an issue with it. Fine, be that way. Ruin my fun. With your fancy logic. There's no. This is Penn Central. Logic has no place here! Hooking up to uh, needing there's just 20, nothing but 20 booster units behind it. I mean, you know, the weird part is that sometime in history that may have happened just because they had to transport the booster units to other places and the boosters couldn't move on their own. So there would be, a, there, there might have been a situation where there would have been a train that was just boosters being moved somewhere that they where they were needed. Um, I don't know of a specific situation where that occurred but that may have been something that happened somewhere sometime Yeah, they wouldn't have been. They wouldn't have been. Oh, oh. <laughs> I screwed up which track was going where. Excellent. That was exactly what I meant to do. It's it's okay. We can we can fix that. We can, we can fix that. We'll just add another. This is this is fine. This is this is peak. This is peak. Penn Central logic is adding a bunch of unnecessary track that we can't hope to afford to maintain. Actually, they didn't. To be fair, to be fair, they didn't actually add any track for the most part. That really wasn't the problem. They just had a ton of track they didn't need, had did not have the means to get rid of it, and the unions forced them to keep a bunch of employees they didn't need. And by forced, I mean the dude in charge basically said, "Fine, we'll do it," even and didn't like fight the unions on it at all, which made that they made made it sure that their operating costs were just freaking impossible. Which is one of those weird funny things you gotta think about, because like, like everyone these days, it feels like anyway. Especially if you're on Twitter or something. It feels like everyone's all about unions. You know, unions defend workers, unions are good, unions are da -da -da -da, unions this, unions that. They have their faults though. Like, for one thing, I hate the notion of paying a union anything. Like, that's out of my paycheck. I'm paying you. Like you're just you you, you become what you thought to destroy, let's say. B B. Um, unions often don't take into account um, operating costs and things like that. You know, like companies need to, you know, like, like they're like, well, you gotta pay us. You gotta pay all these workers. You gotta keep all these people employed. And it's like, okay, that's great. You realize that the company does not actually have infinite money. I understand that you're looking at the, you know, the suits and they look rich and the company seems like it has millions of dollars. That's a lot of money and you're right. But when your operating costs are also millions of dollars a day, 
it really isn't that much money in the grand scheme of things. Um, and it's something that you don't, that people don't really consider about that sort of thing. Now, I do think unions in some veins do have a place. There are certain, there have been plenty of times where companies have completely taken advantage of their of, of their laborers. There is no question on that. But there are all there are also times, especially with Penn Central, where unions completely destroyed a company. And the result was the funny part is that unions are, you know, it's there to keep people employed, keep make sure these workers make sure that we have have our jobs. Great. Now that the company went under, none of you have any jobs. <laughs> there has to be a balance here, you know. I will use another GG1 here, just because I feel like it, and we'll also use. We will use a. There's some other colors. Inner city. We use an inner city unit. Why not? Oh no, not on that one. Wrong station. Rather wrong track. Better. No, that's wrong too. What the hell are you idiots doing? You should be on track 7. You should be on track 8. In Pittsburgh. No, that's wrong. I completely screwed that up again. No, 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 no. Leap. Put that back. Okay. Alright. Pittsburgh. You should be on track 3. There we go. That should do it. I think. Yes. No! What are you. Why are you combining here? That doesn't make any sense! There's no reason. There is no logical reason why you would do that, because they just separate again. Why wouldn't you just stay on the right track to begin with? Why is this one? Why is it doing that? That's so rock stupid. It makes no damn sense. Unless I have this backwards. I think I might. Do do I? No, I don't. Well, what the hell? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me try this. We'll put him on eight, and we'll put you on seven. Maybe, maybe if I reverse it, that'll. I think. Oh, that fixed it. I don't know why that was screwed up before, but we. Okay, we figured it out now. Usual toxic trash that is a locomotive community on... I mean, I try not to be toxic. I try to avoid that. I, You know, I, we're all here to have fun. I'm just here to talk about history, which just turns out to be mostly trains. Making their OC railroad companies and roleplay them fighting each other, like if, if it's Team Fortress 2, that's... I mean, it's the internet. Um... Okay. More money wasters. Brrr. Jet turbine locomotives. There were gas and steam turbine. There weren't any jet turbines. I don't think there were jet 
jet engine. There was, you know, there was the Black Beetle with literal jet engines. Um, jet turbines, I don't think. That just seems grossly unnecessary. <laughs> Steam turbines are failures in the sense of, uh, of economics. The problem with steam turbines was found that they are very, very good at high speed. They're great at high speed. Um, they're actually better than traditional... Okay, pretty much any locomotive, actually. They're better than diesels at high speed. They're amazing. Low speed. They just devoured fuel to keep the turbines going. And that's where the hiccup happened. Um... Oh, which locomotives would, would represent the seven deadly sins? Oh, that, that sounds fun to me. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, I like the steam turbines being gluttony. That sounds about right. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have... Lust. That's hard for me to name a locomotive that would represent lust. Uh... <laughs> You know, I'm just trying to think. Like now, now that I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I have no idea how that would go. Uh, Fury can be wrath. Fury, just just in the name alone, and the you know, like that 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 I'm down for. Lust. I'm still on lust, though. I'm still like that's the first one. I'm like, what the hell? Which locomotive would be that? Uh. T1? No, T1's not lost on what planet are you living or th that makes any sense. I mean, electrification would probably be a good thing, it's just very expensive to do it. Greed... Greed, I think, would be... No, we already established gluttony is the steam turbines. Greed would be... something like... Greed, greed, I think, would actually be the, uh, the, th uh, 39-tonner. 39-ton diesel. Uh, ooh, Metroid Liner. We, well, we can use one of those. I know they had one of those. Uh, because the whole point of that was to... <laughs> Home and Horror... No, you're right! Home and Horror is greed! Excellent! That's, that's perfect. Uh... <laughs>
44 tonner. What did I say? 39? Blech. Yeah, 44 tonner. My bad. What the industrials happened in the 1500s? Ugh, I don't know. I mean... It's hard to say. Might have killed each other a lot sooner just because weapons would have been better. Part of the reason, like, like we, you know, we, we, we obtained, you know, far more effective weapons in the modern day. We also, we also have modern sensibilities to go with them. That's why we haven't nuked ourselves yet. But, like, if, like, someone in the 1600s got a hold of a nuke... Yo, uh, <laughs> uh, it's there's some concern there for me. Uh, Behold, the Bud Metro Liner! They were terrible, but Penn Central did use them. Pride could be the big boy. You know, it's funny, Bud, Bud did make good multiple units once. Like, there was a time when they, you know, before the Metro Liner, they actually made very good multiple units. Some of their early ones were actually pretty ambitious and very, very good for their for their day. Um, it was just like in the 60s and 70s, they started really screwing up. Um, delivering just really half-baked, awful, awful. Uh, well, <sighs> Metro Liner versus Pacers. Metro Liners were generally more comfortable. Um, there's a reason why Amtrak just remodeled a lot of them into standalone cars. Um, like, they, they were generally more comfortable than Pacers. But Pacers were more reliable. Pacers, you know, for all their flaws, would go from point to point and get there without an issue. Metro Liners couldn't do that. So... Pick your poison. I mean... You're going to have an uncomfortable ride on the Pacer, but you'll get to where you're going. Metro Liner, you'll be more comfortable, but you might not actually get to where you need to go. It's true that aerodynamically, the Metro Liners don't appear to be very fast, but on a te in the technical sense, they were faster than the Japanese bullet train. They were. They were capable of it. Now... They never really went that speed very often, if ever, and they broke down re reportedly, but I mean, despite the brick shape, they, they could go very fast. People hit the NYC subway not because necessarily of the service, but because it's New York City, and there's a lot of friggin' weird people in New York City. I've ridden on that subway. I've been there before. Like, and the trains are fine. Nothing wrong with the subway that itself. It's, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the fact that it's always dirty. The people are. It's just it. The people. It's the people. It's not necessarily the subway itself. Um, because you know I had a you know, pretty decent experience on the New York subway. Like, you know, every time I took it, we got exactly where we needed to go and there was no issue. But when it came to actually, you know, it was kind of gross. Are trains more comfortable than planes? I mean, I, it varies, I would imagine, but I, I would say these days, specifically in America, like, I would vastly, I vastly, not just because I, prefer, I like trains, but I would vastly prefer from a comfort perspective to ride on an Amtrak train than fly on any aircraft purely because like aircraft you know they, they shove you in there and you're like it, it's you know you're, you're sardines just 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 get in the 
get in the frickin' fuselage. Just get in there! Get in there! We need to pay for these for the jet fuel, and it's really expensive. Amtrak really isn't like that. You know, there's there's still you, there's there's breathing room. It's still you know, it's not like exactly a luxurious ride. It's still coach, but you have more you have more leg room. You have more cargo space. It's chiller. You know, you're not you don't have to deal with people with having crazy anxiety about flying. You're not you don't feel cramped and there's no pressure changes. I mean, it, it, it you know. In, in in the grand scheme of things, a ride on a, on a you know a general Amtrak train, on average, I would say is much more comfortable than riding on a plane. Now the downside, of course, is that planes are usually faster, um, getting you to where you need to go. But that that varies depending on distance because, like, in the Northeast Corridor, it takes about. Like, let's look at this real quick. This is a good simulation now. You know, ignoring the fact this is Penn Central for a second. Let's assume this is Amtrak. This is the Northeast Corridor. You could take a train ride from Harrisburg over to Philly up to New York City, and that would take you... This, this whole trip is about an hour and a half. Now, by plane, technically, it's... You know, it's 30 minutes from Harrisburg to Philly by, by plane, and then it's another 30 to New York if you took planes. Because there's no direct flight anymore from Harrisburg to New York City. That's the first problem. The second problem is that even if there was, the time it takes you to go through security and get your ticket and wait at the gate and everything like that, it adds up. Taking a plane to New York from Harrisburg is probably about three hours. So it would be double that of Amtrak, because with Amtrak, you just get right on the train, and you go. You don't have to get up. You don't have to switch flights when you're in Philadelphia. They literally just hook you up to the next train, and you go straight up to New York City. It, there's no fuss. There's no worry, and it's faster in the grand scheme of things. Are you on the train longer than you would be on the plane? Technically, but you wouldn't be sitting at an airport for all that excess time. Nor would you be sitting at a train station for that excess time because you'd be on the stupid train going to where you need to go. So, in terms of time management, in the technical sense, it is faster to take a train from here to here than it is to take a plane from here to here purely because of... purely because of the way security and the management of airlines work these days. So... Basically, what I'm saying is, if you're ever in this neck of the woods, if you ever find yourself in the middle of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, or even Philly, and you're trying to get to New York City, take a freaking Amtrak. It's also cheaper. It's also cheaper. A ticket from Harrisburg to New York City is about 120. Last I looked, it might be 150 now with inflation. We'll say that, uh, but it's not definitely not above 200. Plane ticket will run you at least 400, at least. So you're saving less for less than less than half the cost, and you and you're more comfortable. And you get there faster. So why in the hell wouldn't you take the train in this context? Same thing can be said for for to down anything in the Northeast Corridor, really. If you're going to D.C. or Baltimore, and you're traveling from New York or anywhere, don't take a damn plane. Just take the damn train. Trains will dodge... For one thing, trains will dodge traffic in the frickin' Beltway, which is always a Christmas nightmare. And, again, you'll get there faster. You want to deal with frickin' JFK, which is a nightmare airport, by the way. JFK is horrible. But what's even worse is Philadelphia Airport. I frickin' hate Philadelphia Airport. It's horrible. Philadelphia train station is absolutely gorgeous. It's a historical place. It's absolutely... That train station is the peak. Peak. Like, you walk in and it's just like... <gasps> It's absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, if you're in the Northeast Corridor, take a train. I can't speak for the rest of the country because I know America in general has a, has problems with there just aren't enough tracks, um, and they have to share a lot of the lines with the freight companies, and that creates problems for over like here towards Chicago and into Arkansas, Kansas City, this area. This is where Amtrak struggles a bit, but in the Northeast Corridor, that's their, that's their, that's their baby. That, the, the old school, old Penn Central lines, ironically, best lines in the country. So, I would say, yeah. Just, if you're, if you're here, take the train.
that's 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 my that, that's my opinion on it. Hi, Ashoka. Right, there's also the time it takes to taxi out to the runway and stuff like that, too. Trains don't do that. Trains stop at every station, but the, they stop, pick up the passengers, and go. Like, it's less than a minute. <laughs> That's just United, to be fair. United did that one time. Beat the star out of that doctor. Who wants to give up their seat? The Amtrak doesn't do that shit. Uh, that was a horrible situation. I cannot believe that it... I, I was I was astounded when I watched that happen. I was like, really? Like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, I get... Like, you know, you, first of all, you overbooked it. This is kind of your freaking fault. Why are you making that guy pay the price for your ineptitude? Like, whose fault is this? Oh, wait, it's yours. You don't remember that, Jack Carson? That was, like, trending. Like, what year was that? 2017, 2018, something like that? A few years ago, where United Airlines, they overbooked the flight, and they told the dude he had to give up his seat, which is already a bad move, in my opinion. Um, I was gonna just... I know I have one here. This is Penn Central. We have excess infrastructure, so we'll add another one here for no reason. Um, and... So, he wouldn't give up a seat because he was a doctor. He had to be back to see patients, which makes sense. Um, so, instead of being like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Fine, have a nice day. We'll fix our screw-up because it is their screw-up. They, security basically beat the tar out of him. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and they actually dragged him off with, a, like, a you know bleeding, bloody nose of this flight. It was a huge, huge scandal for them because it was like, what the hell? Like, is that how you treat customers? Really? Oh, okay. It's good to know. I guess I won't make them mad. I you know, that's, that's kind of where where it was. Uh. The best adult dating site. That's not a bot. That's a solid advert. Don't you want the best adult dating site? I think that's really important to a lot of you probably maybe I don't know uh, what I do know is I will fix this problem ta-da then they're gone Yeah, I get bots all the time. Though, admittedly, in some ways, it's a sign of success, because that means bots are paying attention. I was unaware that Penn Central had a Pride skin? Like, a Pride livery? I, I assume this was... This would have been before the Pride movement. Um, but apparently this was a thing at some point? Um... So, here you go. It's a little late for Pride Month, but there's a nice little Pride Diesel for... All y'all that need pride, I guess. There, you, you, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, United took a massive hit. They actually had to go before Congress and everything. Like it was, it was a major hassle. They're still in business. I know it's not June. It's August. I know what month it is. I didn't know this existed. I just picked it randomly because it was Penn Central. And apparently Penn Central at one point had like a reading rainbow on their train. Okay, that's... that, that That's where you got. Light through a prism. Oh, maybe that is what they were going for because they got the P here and there's a rainbow in the P. 
Uh, I mean, it doesn't go all the way down. I don't know. I mean, presidential trans locomotives were already dirty enough. Now they got bright colors on them. Like, at least the black kind of masks the dirt. But now things are... Now it's all bright and colorful, and it's like, oh, that's gonna smear. And grease all over that. Like these. Look how dirty this is. Can't even see the see the Penn Central logo hardly. How are we doing financially? The only one that's making any profit is that one that at one freight route. Which is just taking grain from all the way over here and taking it up here. Um that's the only one that's doing well. Every other line is sapping money. And I suppose it makes sense. I'm sure there was at least a couple lines on Penn Central that made some level of profit. There had to be. I can't switch to steam locomotives because Penn Central didn't have any steam locomotives. They were originally headed he headed by Alfred E. Perlman. He scrapped them all, remember? I want that steam engine... ...destroyed. They picked up one person. One person on this train. Perfection. Ooh, they picked up two people. An artillery only transport fever video? Artillery only. Artillery in this game? Right. You know, my problem right now is that, logistically, I shouldn't even have any passenger lines, because at this point in history, Amtrak was a thing. They took over all the passenger lines in 1971. So everything is now operated by Amtrak. This isn't even Penn Central anymore. Penn Central only had its freight lines, so really I only have this line up here. Transport fever. It's that train game. Uh, so I should really stop making passenger lines, because that's Amtrak's territory now. Um, what I should be doing is making more freight lines and screwing them up. Um, that, that seems to be the, the, pro, the, the, the goal here. Um, 
So let's look around up in the. Uh, that's a nice little straight line. We can take that all the way over there. Okay, all right, we can do something here. Make something happen. Something, some work, some magic. Can I make track that just goes in a circle? Technically, there's no way to do a route where a train will do that, as far as I know. Um, I can certainly make a very circular track. Um, but that was when I was doing, like, the absolute worst, uh, <coughs> railroad ever. Um, which is not based off of real rail railroad, it's just me screwing around. Um, since I'm trying to be at least semi-realistic with things, that wouldn't really make sense, even for Penn Central standards. They wouldn't have done something like that. Yeah, it probably is, given how uh, given how deep I made that tunnel. I don't recall if I ever if it ever came out the other side. I don't think it did. It's a long line. I assume everyone on board suffocated. Uh, What the hell is the Jesus train? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why would you want a train that could transform into a hovercraft? Why not just make it a hovercraft? A hovercraft can go on land and water. I guess it would go faster on rails, sure, but... I... I mean, how would it get back? How would it, how would it effectively get back on the rails once it got off of them?
Aha! It's time! It's time to shift things over. Quick! Conrail! You must... You must stop this... This madness from unfolding. They hold the blue. Yeah, hun. Huh? Oh, he fell off the edge of the bed. He's over there. Would you like me to get him? Would you like me to get him? Okay, so every single... It's 1973, so... These are no longer... No, 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 no. We're gonna drop that. <clears throat> Where are you? Seriously. There they are. Amtrak day one. Amtrak is on track. Conrail started turning a profit in the 80s. They actually did fairly well for a while. <laughs> you, said, you told me. You said not right this second. You changed your mind. You changed your mind.
Sorry about that. Uh, I had to help my girlfriend out with something. Alright, so... What we gotta do is make these lines profitable again, because we are Amtrak, that's what we do. Um, so we're gonna get rid of this entirely, actually. We don't need two of them. We only need one. But there's one that might change things. Okay. Um, the GG1 can stay for now, because Amtrak did use those. Um, having two of these going back and forth is okay, I guess. No, this GG1 has to go. That can be done away with. We don't need that. Oop! There are way too many lines here. This is ridiculous. You need to be changed out <clears throat> for something a little more stunning, lively, Amtrak-y. A little day one diesel there, why not? Heck with it. That look nice. You can just go. This anymore. Don't need this anymore. Ta da. That can go. Slowly, Penn Central is vanishing and will be but a memory. anymore. Now the trick is, now that Penn Central... Penn Central technically last till 76, but Conrail sort of taken over during this time. So, we definitely need to get rid of everything Penn Central when it comes to passenger stuff. Because they just weren't a thing. You especially need to get changed out. This is ridiculous. One more at least. Yes, you. Um, you. Da 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 da. Actually, we are going to make this a metro liner. Boom. <coughs> okay, Conrad. This problem, for one thing, we don't need nearly this many, like at all. Holy shit, you guys are getting really dark in the chat! 
the hell? I'm into some dark humor, but goodness, you all need Jesus or something. On rail. I think we have wiped Penn Central off the map at this time. Uh, but their legacy lives on as things will not be turned around quite super great, at least not for a while. Um, I don't need this many. I need like one of you. Maybe two. We'll leave two to see how that goes. We definitely don't need three. I did that. I guess we'll leave it be for now. Okay, um, where was I? <clears throat> right, freight lines. I need coal. I need coal to go here. Uh, so... The problem I have is that coal is, like, out in God's country. And not anywhere near where I need it to be. But I guess it's what trains are for, isn't it? Is there anything closer than that? Not really. There's mostly oil everywhere else. Coal seems to be... Oh, well, uh, there's one here. That might be it. That might be our closest... I think that is. That, that That's it. That's it right there. Okay. Okay, that's what Conrail's looking at. What's Conrail's gonna do? Conrail gonna Conrail. Now that, we're, now that we're Conrail, we can be smart about our decisions and build a single station. We're actually gonna make this really long, though. Only because I want extra space for just... So there's going to be a lot of cargo. It's mine. Can't have any. Here. Any train simulator with a crap ton of DLC? No, they all have that. Sorry, I can't help you. Uh, Vaping isn't good for you? Who told you that? Maybe it's great for me. Maybe I feel powerful. Listen, I do what I want. It's better than smoking. I mean, it's exactly what I said. Smoking's bad for you. My girlfriend smokes.
So, I know these are the wrong livery, but... Um... <clears throat> Conrail did have a habit of using things that weren't necessarily Conrail labeled. So we'll add, we'll add some fun uh, additions. We'll say... We'll say they bought something from Great Northern. Just because I want some some additional colors going on here. Gonna talk about the fact that I vaped. That, that discussion going on right now. I'll have you know this is America. I am allowed to do whatever I want in my America. Talk about the Grumman F4F Wildcat. I'm sure the Wildcat will come up at some point.
Akajime or Kras? I mean, again, probably it'll come up. I can't, like, promise specific things, because... <coughs> never exactly know... what I'll be going down, you know... Like, I generally know what I'm, what I'm talking about every week, but sometimes it's hard to say. How are we looking? Well, first of all, we have to pay off this outrageous debt. Since Penn Central couldn't pay it. This is zero on Penn Central's debt. actually make decent lines that make sense. Why does it lag whenever I get close and stuff? It's because this game takes a lot of RAM. My computer, when it's when it's it's not really the game's fault. Um, it's it's the combination with my compute with my computer. It's the combination of playing the game and streaming at the same time. It can cause frame rate diffs. Um, it's not the game itself. Uh, just so we're clear on that, I don't want you guys to think that this game is inherently bad with frame rate. It's really not. It's actually great. Um, it's just, um, first of all, I'm using a map that's larger than the game is supposed to have. That's A. So, the game's already taxed. B, I'm streaming. And C, my computer doing all that at once. It can be very... My computer's... <laughs> 10 years old now. Um, I've updated a few things, like the video card is not th quite that old. Um, I've updated the RAM too, but it's still not exactly a top tier rig. Lines doing. Well, you guys are doing great. <coughs> You're not doing. Passenger lines are still rough, but I'm not surprised by that. Um, give it a few more years to pick back up again. At least some of these freight lines are gonna look bad until the freight lines are. The Conrail's looking really good right now. Um, Amtrak, you know, it's rough, but they gotta dig out of the hole that Penn Central put those lines in. I already deleted a bunch of lines that weren't going to make any money no matter what I did, so in theory it should be fine. Um, the other problem I have is in the context of this simulation, I wouldn't have any local transport here, but like in real life, like the game takes into account whether or not people can get to the station easily, and if I had like a bus service in the cities, that would actually amplify the passenger service between cities for the trains. But Amtrak doesn't do buses, so in accordance with the simulation, I shouldn't actually do that. But also in accordance with the simulation, I should logistically have buses at this point. So actually, now that I really think about it, now I'm going to add some buses. Um, not because Amtrak did, 
but because there would have been buses in some of these cities, and that's going to help Amtrak out quite a bit. Pittsburgh and Philly, especially, and New York, would have ha uh, do have <coughs> regional bus services, local bus services. Pittsburgh actually has a very good bus service. Now that I think about it, my grandfather actually uh, drove bus in Pittsburgh for most of his life. Ooh, the AEM sevens available, and the EMD. What the hell is that thing? I don't even know. No, I forget. I don't even remember what that is. Um. Anyway, that's what I was doing, right. Station, 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 okay. in California, not where on the East Coast, so that's not relevant to us, but it's a good thing to know that they did do that a little bit. If it does make logical sense, we should probably also make it so that Columbus has buses. Not entirely sure of Columbus, how Columbus buses are, but in this game, just because we have to boost the... The passenger service won't be successful without local transport. It just won't. Um, and in real life, there would have been. It would be a different company, obviously, but we could just pretend like this is a, another private bus company that I'm just happen to be involved with, because whatever. And this will start to shift things in our favor, I do believe. Oh, Philadelphia needs a bus service. To be fair, with a truly accurate simulation, I would also have aircraft in, like, every single one of these major cities. Um, which I guess I could do if you guys wanted me to. It's up to you, though. I was trying to focus on the trains, obviously, but now that we're actually trying to make things work... Where's that GG1? Did I talk? Did I get rid of that GG1? I forget if I did or not. I thought I said I wasn't going to, but maybe I did it anyway. Oh, you need to go, because you guys wouldn't be, weren't working by this point. New York City needs a bus service, absolutely, without question. Uh, that's that's not up for debate. and DC get a bus service. The real question is, well, I guess they would be separate, but I only need one depot because they're so close, at least on this map. Is this even connected? It must be.
I don't think it was. At least it wasn't. <laughs> Penn Central. Ah. Uh. We'll see if that fixes our issues in some level or way. Oh, you need to go. What in the world? She has a prototype electric locomotive built by General Motors collaboration with Sweden. It was designed for a lower speed freight service than when U.S. railroads were contemplating electrification. I'm going to build it just to see what it is. I see. As the game struggles to load it, it's too powerful for the game to handle. Apparently it is. The game is completely frozen. It should catch up with itself in a moment. Oh, there it goes! What the heck are you? You are a chunky looking devil, aren't you? Interesting. Auto saving. Three million dollars in profits. That's Conrail. Not Penn Central.
Bow, 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 bow. Bus lines aren't doing a profit yet, but they won't, not immediately. Do 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 Good night. Good night. Oh, you. I think you're tired. Well, yeah. I mean, he's would be over there. Bitty hoppity. Welcome to my life. The heck is this? Look at this road to nowhere. I mean, I guess it's not going nowhere. Just so weird. Oh, you know what we should do? We should build the interstate highway system. That, sh that was years ago. I mean, the personal freedom the highways provided made sense at the time. Toronto CRLV Bum Bombardier by level I said it right. Uh
I know. I'm a popular guy. Well, according to X with 10 right now, I had more. But then I got boring. I'm always boring. You know that. It's okay. You, you gave it an honest try. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> here. There are no New York Central Hudsons around. Why, there's so many cars here. Just take the train. It's right here. You. Oh, you'd rather sit in this traffic? Is that what you want to do with your fancy pink Cadillacs? And your stupid hippie buses? No, the traffic's so much better than just taking the train, you cowards.
Well, technically every GG1 is streamlined, but I assume you're referring to steam locomotives. There is a GG1. Where have you been? <clears throat> you need replaced. I didn't use GG1s by this point. We have the EMD AEM7. As I understand it, nobody's plays play, played Yander Simulator. <laughs> Based off of, I, I I know little to nothing about the drama surrounding that game's development, but I understand that it was a complete and utter disaster, in almost every conceivable way. Six Eleven is streamlined. J Class, she, they're, 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 she's streamlined by default. Right. 
the Penn Central love screen. <laughs> Outside of you know it, it, what what I, what, I, what I like about you, go tell your mom is that like about that phrase is that yes he's here go tell your mom <laughs> you just like his name my girlfriend thinks your name's hilarious anyway um to be fair so do I but uh I don't know what his real name is I don't think no you don't tell tell strangers on the internet your your real name yeah you don't do that we don't do that here anyway um uh but. Outside, what I like about that line, go tell your mom, is that outside of, like, the rail fan community, no one understands why that's such a great joke. Nobody will. But I know why it's a great joke. Uh, <laughs> hello, PRR number 577-Sunny. I'm just gonna just call you Sunny. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy my content. Slowly but surely, Amtrak and Conrail... Conrail's doing really well. Um, these freight lines are insanely profitable. Um, ooh, we have our first profitable passenger line. And it's with things that... I can't even believe this is still here. I thought I got rid of that. Um, but they are profitable, so good for them. But we're still getting rid of them anyway. We're changing to 87, but... Um, either way, one of our passenger lines, until I did that, was profitable. Um... <clears throat> but, um, we are slowly digging ourselves out of the Penn Central hole that I put myself in on purpose. Um, and our ridership is up. Again, part of that, part of that is to do, there's two, there's two mechanisms here. Oh, God, the Bud SPV 2000 prototype? Oh, I gotta put that somewhere, just because I know Amtrak did it. Not that they liked it, not that it was good, but they did do it. Um, so we'll put that here. Um, we'll switch you out for that. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Ah, uh, y'all, so they're going to break down every 12 seconds, but that's historically accurate. Uh, <laughs> Actually, it would be really historically accurate if I, put, if I put an engine on these, because technically speaking, they broke down all the time. Um, is it 1987? It's 1978. See, what's, what's really a sort of if I, if I put a random diesel in front of them? Because they broke down. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Need a bunch of strikes about now? Alright. Uh, I'll just pause the game. Nothing's working. Everything's shut down. Strike time. Uh... <laughs> What do we want? Free stuff. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Free stuff. When do we want it? 
Now! I am! We're... What do we want? Donations in the description. When do we want it? Only if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't TikTok. I can't just be like, tap, 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 or, you know, beg for money. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. We're polite. Unlike TikTok, which is rude. Am I right? Yeah, Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm a lie. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> what do we want? More lanes! Just one more lane. Just one more lane, you guys. Just one more lane. Two dollars. <laughs> you don't have to give me anything. Especially if you're that hard up for cash. Next week! <laughs> dude. Dude. Seriously. Don't even worry about it. Aha! See? Just like a true TikToker! I knew it! Just like you're using me for my money, aren't you? My girlfriend's using me for my money. I knew it. She's not. She's, she's really not. I hope not, because she knows I don't have any money. <laughs> anyone's ever made an atomic train mod for this game. That'd be interesting, though. Now you may have noticed I've stopped kind of kind of stopped building, and that's because for one thing, there's only so many models of trains I can put in. But the other issue is that Conrail and Amtrak, especially, don't really build any new lines very often. 
they just used what they were given. Um, so, it doesn't really make any sense. Opinions on the UP3985 getting restored? I mean, I think it's good. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Like, great. Yes. Now? When? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be the weirdest thing you ever requested at 2.30 in the friggin' morning. She kisses. Too bad. It's mine. Oh my god! That is so mean! She has violence today. No, him! He said, he said to his, yeah, he said to his stream. Oh, she gets. Nope, they're mine. Rude! You're not getting any. They're mine. That's rude. Why would you offer them then? Cruelty. There's no violence here. I just chose to keep it real. Uh, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell her that. Okay, <clears throat> babe, they want me to assure you that there's no violence. We're just talking about Hitler and upskirting. Oh my god! Does that help? No. Oh, okay, that doesn't help. That thing that made it worse. Babe. I don't know, man. Women can't can't please them. Babe. Yes. Why do you need a PO box? 
Well, I'd rather you do that than give them my address, so that's... that's okay, that's pretty funny. Uh... No, I'm good. I still don't understand why this line isn't very profitable. Like, y'all would seriously ra This is- This is preferred to you. This, for all you people, you, you prefer this over, over, this is, th this is apparently infinitely better in your, in your tiny minds. I'm going to drive myself like a true American. Like, that's great. Also, you get to sit in the longest traffic. Like, I, there's, I don't think I can even fix this if I wanted to. And I'm not even sure that I want to. That's kind of where I'm at with it. I could just add one more lane. Just one more lane, you guys. I'm gonna fix traffic. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix traffic. I'm gonna fix traffic. I'm gonna fix traffic. I'm gonna fix traffic. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna fix traffic. Alright. Just add a bunch of lanes. That'll, that'll fix traffic. Alright. I, fi I fixed the traffic. As you can see, I have <laughs> I have fixed traffic. Everything's fine now, other than the fact that I can't widen this. Do you see? Do you see? Like now, now it it didn't actually. No one's even using this lane. Um, is 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 really where we're at with it? Maybe if I widen just everything, we'll see how that works. can't physically widen every lane. It's not possible. This just isn't feasible. Okay, now I've widened these lanes. There, there's still a, a, a graph zeppelin. Ah, oh, Amtrak phase three. Oh goodness, it's time for phase three. Hold on a second. I gotta switch some things around. Some of these trains gotta go. One thing these prototypes gotta go. As you can see, my widening of all these lanes has definitely fixed traffic. There's no issue with <laughs> traffic. <laughs> 
There's no... There's no... <laughs> There's no problem. <laughs> I don't see the issue here at all. I... I think this is fine. Frankly. Well, it has cleared up this road. This road itself is not nearly as backed up as it was. So it did make some level. It's just now, now it's just backed up here. Now it's just backed up in the city as opposed to out of the city. And I don't really know which is. I, I, I don't really consider that a better option, but I mean, that's where we're at with it. So, you know, pick your poison, I guess. How oh, are trains doing? Still struggling to make most of the passenger lines profitable. But we weirdly, the buds are doing the best. Even though they should be failing t t logically, but, you know, the game only considers them rail, ca rail cars, and rail cars are usually cheaper to run and more efficient if you can make them work. So, in many aspects, they, in theory, uh, w you know, logically, they would be doing better. If they functioned, they would have done better, but they didn't function, so, you know, there you are. Um, freight lines are still doing great. No, no issues with them. Um, yeah, the passenger lines are still kind of not great, but they're 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 getting up there. Like, like this one, I think, will be turning a profit shortly because like 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 the passenger, it's it's almost full. So, you know, the passenger numbers are pretty good. So logistically, <coughs> it should eventually, you know, and a lot of those lines, to be fair, were also like deep in the negatives ever since Penn Central. Hey, uh, gonna be real, Gabriel. Don't, don't dox yourself. That's 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 actually internet protocol, like rule one. It's just this is a dumb thing to do. Like, first of all, there's no logical reason for you to do that. Second of all, no. Like, just 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 do. You know, there's no reason to. Like, no one here cares about your real name. I assure you. There's a reason everyone calls me Darkness. I don't tell them my name. As a traditional habit. So they know me as Darkness. They started calling you Hellish, by the way. I don't know. That's what they decided on. They were looking for another edgy name, and they kind of went with Hellish. So they don't know your actual name. I mean... It's kind of accurate. It's kind of accurate. <laughs> I am joking. So if you don't see him tomorrow, it is fine. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back never. It's fine. Let's get on my last nerves
what I do now? Oh! Oh! Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Okay guys, we're gonna fix traffic here. We're gonna add just 87 lanes. That's the plan. No, they're talking about someone else in the chat who kept giving out his real name. Not understanding what the big deal was. Wait, so can you give out your real name? That, it, it, they're just saying the potential. Oh, oh still, there's a potential there. They're, they're, just ex they're just explaining why it's a bad idea, generally. Oh, oh, I see, I see. They're not actually threatening anybody. All right, guys, just just one more lane. Just just one more lane. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna fix traffic. Just one more lane. Or just one more lane. We can't put another lane under there. Oh, there we go. We got just one more lane. Just one more. Just one more. Just just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Shh. Just 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 one more lane. Just one more lane. I made it more than you do. Just one more lane. That's not a lie. It's not. It really isn't. I definitely make more than you do. There's no room for debate on this subject. Yes. Yeah. You know, you guys, when you turn right, you can turn right into any of these lanes. You don't have to... You all have to go to the same... Uh, you don't have to... It, it's a, okay, that's fine. Just cause an accident. This is... I, I don't even know if anyone's paying attention to these traffic lights or anything. Um, you know, I, I can only do my best. Favorite aircraft? Bow 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 
look at you making money. <clears throat> Some of our passenger lines are finally turning somewhat of a profit. That's profitable, that's profitable, that's profitable. That one's still struggling, but it's close. This one's really bad, I don't know why. I'll have to look more into that. I might need to cut this one down. I might need to go full beaching cut on it, but I'm going to cut it down to just a bud. Let's see if that fixes it. Look at all these lanes. I fix traffic, you guys, except for here. And here. And here. And all the way. <laughs> I. Um. I. Uh, okay, I. So I didn't fix traffic. I, I mean, I, I, I just keep... Really? Every time I do this, <coughs> I keep moving the traffic is what is what's happening. The congestion just... Like, I, like, I'll fix it in one area and the congestion will, like, shift to a completely different friggin' area. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. That's that's happening. <laughs> um, so, let's see if we can... We'll, we'll widen this here and this here and this here and this over here maybe that'll maybe that'll fix traffic uh, <laughs> well here too um, as ever so we are going to have to widen this and this and maybe this and just all the way down here just just widen everything Oh, I see my extra lanes here didn't fix traffic. Don't worry, I, I'm gonna, I'm, it'll, I'm gonna, we're gonna widen these lanes too. We're gonna widen every lane. Just, just widen every, it'll be fine. It'll fix, I'm gonna fix this. Traffic will be fixed. And it will no longer be a problem. Okay. I'm just saying. Oh, traffic in New York City? I, for one, am utterly shocked. Um, more shocked by these cars re just re-rendering each other. Stop doing that! Don't, don't you do- No! No, God, they've merged into one! Don't... Don't do it. Don't do it. No, you fool! <laughs> What the heck is... Why is... Well, okay, to be fair, I don't have a rail line between New York City and Hartford. That's probably part of the problem.
I like how this is still a dirt road too. We can fix that. I'm gonna fix traffic again. Like I always do. I am the awesome traffic fixer. Oh no! <coughs> fix that problem. <coughs> I fixed it, Amtrak Pepsi product. That's really your name? It just dawned on me.
Hey, it just dawned on me. It's 1983 in this game. That means it's time for fun heritage lines. <coughs> Even Amtrak did that in the late 70s. I actually did it a little late to that party, but hold on. Let's, uh... You. You only have two options for steam engines, so... Either the big boy or the... We'll do the Hiawatha. Because the big boy wouldn't... They definitely wouldn't have used the big boy. The Hiawatha, if they had uh, the availability, probably would have. You know what? Just for just for funsies, let's say that that's let's just say for the sake of the argument that Conrail was feeling awesome and just decided to do this. Wow. Suddenly I'm really popular with the with the bots tonight.
$799. You know what would be a better investment of that money? Me. No. So what? Why? Why is there a traffic jam here, Boston? Oh, I know why. There's no transportation between these cities, so force traffic's gonna get bad. They have no other option. Two dollars, so you so so you can type so you can highlight British, really, 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 really. Also, I thought I told you to keep your two dollars. What are you doing? Take it back. I don't even see that money for the rest of the month. <sighs> you guys kill.
You're a Patreon too. Why are you like this? Dude, if you only... If you... Okay, listen. Guys, I'm gonna be real with you right now. If you are in a position where you are only making a profit between paychecks of like two dollars you should not be giving me or anybody else on the internet for that matter any of your goddamn money <laughs> I'm gonna be real like I I wouldn't want you to put yourself in that position over me like don't get me wrong I love donations of course I do But I don't want you to go hungry because you want to help out some stranger on the internet. That doesn't make any sense. That's exceedingly... That, 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 no. No. It's time to stop. Oh, I should probably fix this too. Because both trains are going to get hung up really bad if I don't put the signals here. How does that thing keep getting back in here? I don't have any channel mods right now because nobody loves me. Your 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 first what? Oh my! Okay, I. Okay, speaking as a single father, I can only like I would. Not sure. I don't think I could be able to handle it if I lost my kid. Um. So, holy shit, dude! I hope you're doing okay. And if I can make you smile, then great. But you don't need to pay me for that. Especially not in that situation. So I don't want you to feel obligated to do anything. Good lord. I mean, I will enjoy. I mean, okay, fine. Be that way. But how dare you be kind. Um... <laughs>
You're not a subscriber, Cowcatcher? What are you doing? You gotta subscribe! I mean, you don't have to, but you could. You could do that. It's an option. It's a viable option. What are you doing here? Condition good. Condition nominal, Captain. What the hell is this a- Are you kidding me? How did this even happen? What is this? I widened this specifically to prevent this nonsense. How are- How- Why- What is the matter with you idiots? Where are you even going that this is such a friggin' problem? What the- Why? What? There's- There are- tri There are- What? What? Just, just one more lane. <laughs> just, just one more lane. <laughs> just one more lane, you guys. <laughs> I, I, I do have a, a pos- I think I know what's wrong. They're trying to get over here. And they can't just all- Because they have to go through Philly to do it. And that's where they're getting hung up. So maybe if I put a road- Maybe if I add another road entirely. That'll- that'll solve it. Here we go. We got, I got- I got a solid plan. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another road. We're just gonna go from here. Which is not going to happen. Never mind. Forget I said that. It's going to go from here. Over to Harrisburg. And that'll... That will fix traffic. For real this time. Definitely. I can't fathom how this could possibly go wrong. Except for the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. We got it. Okay. I have now fixed traffic. Again. Can I still build dirt roads? I don't think I can even... I'm not even allowed to build dirt roads anymore. Country. Country. Highway. There are different kinds of roads, though. Like, the actual highway is this. Three-lane, one-way road with a speed limit of 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's a highway. A real highway. I'm fixing traffic!
You know, it's 1986. The hippie movement is over! The hippies were wrong! Jesus Gray! And you too, Daniel Hayes! The hippies failed. Your stupid well wishes, your nonsense talks of peace! Your communes were meaningless! They only created more problems than they solved. You too, Carolyn Smith! This is still dirt road. It's great, really. I really like dash, uh, I really like dash eights and dash nines, like GM wide cabs, those big, you know, safety cabs, the sharp American style diesels. Uh, but I also like high hoods a lot, like GP nines. GP nines are nice. My God, there's a perfectly good rail line right here. What is wrong with you? I'm just trying to fix traffic. It's not going very well. Oh, looky. Oh, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is stupendous. I am so thrilled to death. I'll just pave over everything. Everything's a road now, and that'll finally fix traffic. Figure it out. I don't even know where 
the issue seems to be, it seems to be oh it's in the city itself well where are you guys going Various directions in the city, apparently. Okay. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna add a few more lanes. <laughs> and then we'll fix traffic! For real! <laughs> Just eliminate all these buildings. What, what do we need buildings for? We just need lanes. No one needs build. No one needs buildings, babe. We just need lanes. We just we gotta fix traffic. So we just gotta add more lanes. Same game. <laughs> Look, you see. I added more lanes! <laughs> oh my god, there's more- there, There's a lot of lanes here, why are you guys backed up? Where, where, where's the hiccup? Do we need more lanes somewhere down the line? That's the problem? Yeah. We need more lanes? Yes. Kitty, we need more lanes! All right, guys. I think I've about had it for tonight. That's 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 plenty of lanes for the moment. Lanes. I'm gonna.